Last year, I started my Basics to Self-Publishing a Book series where I talked about some of the most basic steps to self-publishing your book, as well as the many print-on-demand companies that you can use to self-publish your book. I did unboxing videos reviewing the qualities of all the books. I did tutorial videos showing you how to work with each print-on-demand company. And then I also did a video that talked about what I think is the best print-on-demand company where I broke everything down into categories categories and assigned all the companies like different points to see who the winner would be. Now that was great, but today I kind of want to talk about what I recommend as my favorite print-on-demand company and who I think is the easiest print-on-demand company to work with when you're self-publishing your book. Now why is easiness important when you're self-publishing? Well because everyone starts off somewhere. We all start as brand new beginner authors and frankly even though some companies may have the best features or the best options, they may not always be the most user-friendly and easy to use for the beginner author. So today I want to talk about my personal top three recommendations of self-publishing companies I would work with and why I may or may not recommend working with them when you're a beginner author. My name is Mandy Lynn. I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. If that sounds good to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. Today I'm only going to be talking about three print-on-demand companies, but I do have a ton of other videos on this YouTube channel where I go in-depth about all of the print-on-demand companies I'll be talking about today, as well as some other ones I won't be talking about today. So if you're interested in learning about other print-on-demand companies, be sure to check out the Beginner's Guide to Self-Publishing a Book playlist in the description of this video. With that said, let's start talking about my top three favorite print-on-demand companies, starting off with the bottom tier number three which is Ingram Spark. So I had a hard time including this company in my top three because I wanted to talk about the easiest print-on-demand companies to work with when you're self-publishing. And frankly Ingram Spark basically makes it as hard as possible to self-publish your book. They don't have great customer service. They have fees to upload your book. They have fees to update the files for your book. And frankly, the layout on the back end is a little confusing. And a lot of the language and verbiage while uploading is also confusing. However, I still wanted to mention it here today because Ingram Spark offers some things that no other print on demand companies do offer. And so if these things that I'm about to talk about are important to you, then it's going to be absolutely necessary to work with Ingram Spark if you want to accomplish some of these things. For example, Ingram Spark offers wide distribution. This means you aren't just publishing your book on Amazon, you're publishing your book on Amazon and many other online retailers. This means that libraries will be able to order your book as well as Barnes and Noble and other brick and mortar stores. And your book also gets listed online for expanded distribution as well. So your book is basically available almost everywhere. IngramSpark also offers a lot of printing options. They offer hardcover printing, which a lot of print on demand companies are also starting to offer, but Ingram Spark offers the most options where you can print your hardcover book with or without a dust jacket. You can design what's underneath the dust jacket. There's just a lot of different things that go into options for Ingram Spark, and I can't cover it all today, but just know if there's a printing feature that you want, Ingram Spark probably has it. And probably the thing that makes authors work with Ingram Spark the most is the fact that they offer pre orders not only for your ebook but for your print book as well, which is something that most print on demand companies don't offer at this time. So if you want to do pre orders for your paperback book, you're going to have to work with Ingram Spark. However, there's a lot of caveats because if you don't upload your final files when you're doing your pre order, you need to make sure you have your final files updated by a certain date. And you'll there's also like a very specific button that you have to click to make sure that you know, the 
copies of the books don't get shipped early. There's a lot of weird little minuscule things that you need to be mindful of. So if you've never worked with Ingram Spark before, I actually have an entire playlist of videos where I teach you everything that I've learned the hard way by messing up my pre-orders, by having blank copies of my book sent out to readers. Just watch all my Ingram Spark videos before you work with them. That way you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. So with that said, Ingram Spark comes at number three because while they have all these options and amazing things that they can offer to authors, they are not in any way user friendly. I've seen them make changes to their reporting and how the back end looks, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done before I can consider them a good company to work with if you're a beginner author. Coming in at number two is Draft Digital. So I'm actually surprised myself to be talking about this today because I feel like the last couple of times I talked about Draft to Digital, I was kind of like moot about it because I had ordered a proof copy of my book through Draft to Digital and it took, I think, three months to get to me. And I was just a little bummed about that, but that was also a year ago. So Draft to Digital is very new to paperback distribution. In fact, they're still in the beta phase at the time of recording this video. However, the beta phase is available to anyone who wants to try out their paperback books. But with it being in the beta phase, that means that they're still working out a few kinks in the system. Originally, draft to digital was just for distribution of your ebook, but it was wide distribution for your ebook. So you could have your book available at a lot of different places online. But since they're dipping their toe into paperback, that also means that their paperback is wide distribution as well. Whatever distribution Ingram Spark has is the same distribution that draft to digital has which is huge as authors if you love the distribution options for Ingram Spark but you don't love working with Ingram Spark themselves. They're a little more friendly, the back end of the website is a little more intuitive to figure out and they have pretty good customer service. I don't believe they have a phone number that you can call but they do have an email that you can contact but that's the same case with Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark you email them, you can can't actually call them on the phone though. But also exciting is the fact that Draft to Digital does offer paperback pre-orders as well as ebook pre-orders. Besides working with Barnes and Noble Press, this is the first time that we've seen a company besides Ingram Spark offer paperback pre-orders. However, there is a caveat. Draft to Digital requires that the files that you submit for pre-order are your final files. You can't make any updates to your book's cover or your book's interior after you submit the files for pre-order. This means if you wanna start your pre-order for your book three months before the book comes out, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the cover is finalized and the interior is finalized because once you upload it, you can't make any changes. Now this may change down the line as Draft to Digital figures out their paperback distribution, but I did talk to Draft to Digital directly and confirmed with them that they want you to have the final files that are ready for publication. So that's a little different from Ingram Spark, where Ingram Spark lets you update your files. You do have to pay a fee, but you are able to update your files on Ingram Spark. Whereas with Draft to Digital, if you're doing a pre order, you can't update your files until after the book is published. But with that said, for Ingram Spark, you have to pay fees to update your files. And for Draft to Digital, you don't have to pay any fees. There is a cap on how many times you can update your files. I believe it's every 90 days, but you are still able to update your files for free. Really, the biggest downside with Draft to Digital right now is that they are still new and they're still evolving. There's a lot of great features, but they do have little caveats, like I said, with the pre orders. But this is a great lead in a new direction. Now, I can't cover everything about Draft to Digital today. I'm going to do another video later on this year where I go more in depth into working with Draft to Digital because
because I want to try it out myself some more and really do some more testing around with them before I do a full video on it. So keep your eye out if you want to know more details on all these new features that draft digital is having for their print books. So let's talk about my number one recommended print on demand company, which is Kindle Direct Publishing. Now they are number one for me because they really are the easiest to work with. Now the biggest downside with Kindle Direct Publishing is that it's an Amazon company, which means your book is only published on Amazon. With that said, Amazon really kind of wins the prize for distribution because Amazon is a huge chunk of how books are sold these days. So you're not missing out on a lot, but you are still missing out on wide distribution when you use Amazon. My personal opinion is that Kindle Direct Publishing is the most user-friendly. It's the one I always recommend to brand new authors who may not know what they're doing, who may need to upload a file 10 different times, who may need to play around with things a bunch of different times. And KDP has been doing a great job to offer more and more options to authors. I think it was last year we saw them first introduce hardcovers, which is super exciting. Now, the biggest downside with the KDP hardcovers is that it's just the case laminate. It does not include a dust jacket, which is what we know and love about hardcovers the most. Some readers don't like the dust jackets on their books, while other readers really love the dust jackets. So it's kind of a personal preference when you do hardcovers through KDP, but I personally wish that they offer dust jackets and I hope that's something that they maybe include down the line. But besides hardcovers, KDP also offers your classic paperback book and an ebook. Now the ebook is again just for Kindle, but that also means if you only publish your ebook on Kindle Direct Publishing, then you can choose to enroll your book in Kindle Unlimited. And Kindle Unlimited is a subscription service that readers can sign up for where they pay a monthly fee and then they can read unlimited amounts of ebooks that are on Kindle Unlimited. So when you have your book enrolled in the KDP Select program, it means that you get paid by pages read rather than people buying just the whole book. If you want to know the pros and cons to having your book enrolled in the KDP Select program, which means that your book is available on Kindle Unlimited, I have a whole video on it. Uh, I will link that down below if you want to check it out. Perhaps the biggest downside with KDP is that they only offer pre-orders for ebooks, not for paperbacks. Again, something I really hope they choose to uh, change and improve upon down the line. But for now, we at least have the ebook pre-orders. In my opinion, KDP also has the best customer service. I've heard some mixed reviews from other authors, but I've never had any issues with KDP. I either email them or do a chat or call them if it's a big issue. I've actually had to call KDP a couple times in the past when just things have gotten mixed up or there's been confusion. They have an actual phone number where you can talk to an actual person and not a bot. Now, because KDP is owned by Amazon, this means that you also have direct access to Amazon customer service. So if you have an issue with your listing on Amazon, you can usually get Amazon on the phone at the same time as KDP. And basically it's a three-way call between you, KDP, and Amazon if you need to resolve a really big issue, which I have had in the past. And it was incredibly helpful to have everyone in one spot to talk to at once. So those are my top three favorite print on demand companies for 2023. I think especially we'll see a lot of good things come from draft to digital this year, but I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite print on demand company is in the comments down below, who you think is the easiest to work with, the most seamless to work with, who has the best features, let me know. Let's hear it all in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe.